It's called the Nation's Report Card, an educational snapshot of how well students are performing in reading and math. The test data collected between October and December of 2022 is being called troublesome, especially among minority and low-income students. Math scores among 7th and 8th graders appear to have taken the biggest plunge and are also raising the most concern among educators. I think we need a radically different way to approach math instruction in this country. I think that what we've seen is that over time, we've had some of the scores go up, but for our most vulnerable students, they still continue to be challenged in the area of math. The math and reading scores were released during a Wednesday afternoon press conference and roundtable discussion where public school students got to respond to the results. If I'm already gone, you need to, we need to diversify uh, the teaching strategies we use, the teaching resources we use. I really think that uh, a change and some innovation could help re-engage students and make us more active learners. State school officials commenting on the NAEP test results say even before the pandemic, Maryland failed to prepare all students for post-secondary success. The head of the state's teachers union believes the state now has an opportunity to make major improvements. We're lucky here in Maryland that we have the blueprint that is investing in our schools, but it's going to take a while to change the trajectory of academic success. We need resources, we need staffing, we need support, and most of all, we need respect for public education. These national results are being released as local and state educators Prepare for a rigorous summer of learning. In North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.